I think we made him a little mad this morning. I think he'll just run in there. We'll Telling me what happened the day that he got to your house? <laughs> no, we got to the house. He just he took care of business right away. He was not messing around. So the cow was in heat, and he just brought it right away. I appreciate you keeping him. You kept him almost six months. Yeah. Was... Yeah, yeah. It was no trouble. He was he was great. Look, she's like. <laughs> I'm gonna run up there. Go for it. Oh, it's possible. I don't think she is yet. If it, if that would be a interesting thing. I don't think she's in heat. It is possible though that she's that she's gonna come in really soon. Well, he's mighty interested. I'm not sure if this is gonna be family friendly up here. <laughs> what a way to say hello. That's what you get for getting in her business. <laughs> That's why we got him. I mean, we wouldn't have. It, it was kind of a crazy thing to do. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna try. Well, I don't think he's gonna get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you decide to sell him, yeah, let me know. I don't know if it's you know if it's something that we'll end up buying or not. Yeah. Very good. Thanks again. Our wives are out the others. I guess. Yeah. Do you want to go see the bowl? You wanna go see him? This little man, he's been so excited about this bull coming home that he's asked about the bull almost every single day. You love cows, don't you? Do you love cows? Are you glad the bull's back? Do you wanna go see him in the pasture? Let's go see him, okay? You've been waiting for this day for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. Eating some grass, they're eating some grass. They're eating grass, yeah. I like grass. You like grass? Yeah. Do you eat grass? Yeah. Funny. Hey, Abel. There he is, buddy. So, what's that? What do you think about that? He's back. We told you he'd come back. I don't know if you believed it or knew what that meant, but he's back now. Is that exciting? Big boy. Yeah, big boy. The steer and the heifer calf are a little bit hyped up just because of the new social interactions. They're like running and and real active. They're checking him out. They're saying, what is this big guy? Who is this big guy coming into the pasture? He's like, get out of here, you little kiddos. Get out of here. Leave us alone. I'm trying to get something done here. <clears throat> That's your daddy. That's your daddy. You've never met him before, and he's home. He came back. They are running. They're running because guess what calves do? They kick up their heels and run. It's a beautiful thing. He's just following her around the pasture. Wherever she goes, he's going. There's only room in that water bucket for one bowl. <laughs> Hey, you want to walk up to the garden with me and get that cow a treat? Come on, big man. Oh, you can get it.
one, Ferdinand and Alice. Help me. Throw this over. I guess after all of Ferdinand's hard work this summer, you know, wallering in deep green grass and hanging out with the lady cows, he deserves a treat. So we're giving him a sweet treat today, and that is sweet corn stalks. And if you've never tried him, you should try one. It's not quite as sweet as sugar cane. It's very sweet though. Yeah, chew on it and tell me if you like it. I like it. Why do you like it? Mm. What does it taste like? Mm. What does it taste like? Don't eat it, just chew it. Don't eat it, just chew it up. Chew it. <laughs> and the cows love it. They'll eat most of the socks. They'll leave the biggest ones, but they'll eat all the little stuff, they'll eat all the leaves. Look how tall that flower is. Okay, it's the next morning. It's Sunday morning and the bull's already causing a huge problem. He's keeping the calves away so they can't nurse. Last night I heard them a couple times doing that real quiet bawling sound. And I said, something's going on out there. It's not like an emergency sound, it's just the calves aren't happy. And we came out this morning to find the bull keeping the calves completely away. I see ya. You guys hungry this morning? And if you look at her udder, it is really full this morning. This is a big problem because our whole framework for milking is based on having the calves on the cow so that we can milk just once a day. That means the calves have to be able to nurse through the rest of the day. You pigs. And this is Sunday morning. We actually never milk on Sunday morning. And the, this whole thing worked. We went to the beach. The calves kept the cow empty. Our friend had to milk her out once when she got full. She checked her every day. Either I have to milk her or I have to get the calves on her. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start by trying to separate the cow and the bull and let them nurse. Here it goes. Go in the stall. Here, Alice, come on. Come on, Alice. Hey, Alice, come on. Come on, Alice. Hey, Alice, come on in. All right, here we go. Get up, get up, come on, get out. Nope, 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 come on, get out. <laughs> I think we made him a little mad this morning. Nope, nope, you're not coming in here. I'm waiting and the calves are not coming down. They're not coming, he's just pacing back and forth down here. Huh. And he, calves are not going past him. <laughs> we'll try this, see if we can distract him for long enough to get the calves in there. We definitely made him mad this morning. He, I think she must be about to go into heat or just came out of heat because he's... He's trying to make her. He's way into her. Well, look, he's right there. He's patrolling that gate. That bucket of feet is right here and the bull is over here just talking about how mad he is. All right, got him in. Here he comes. Hey, you can't come in here. No, you can't come in here, buddy. I'm literally worried that he might come down here and break this gate down. So I'm just standing here until he chills out or we're done in here. All right, there we go. That's what needs to happen. What are you waiting for? Why aren't you nursing? You can hear him out here like a dragon. Just He's just pacing back and forth. You can hear him breathing. It's really creepy. 
He's like hiding from a monster or something. <laughs> he is kind of a monster, isn't he? He's a he's a chill bowl, but this is a bowl for you. It's nursing, that's good. Kind of had a peaceful summer without him here, right? Who knows, maybe you missed him. He just busted that gate down, but he got shocked in the process. Hey! 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 So he just actually tried to walk right through this fence, busted it, got shocked, backed off, so he knows now. Whoa, that's electric. Clear out, girl, clear out of this area. Let's see if he'll let me get a word in. I did not know Ferdinand came back yesterday because I wasn't here. And I came out to the barn this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, what's in the pasture? What is that big hairy creature? And then I realized Ferdinand's back. It's obviously not going very well, but this is just what you deal with. Hiccups like this and you're like, oh, I didn't expect that. It's more like we didn't expect this. So now we're trying to figure out how to solve the problem. <laughs> she is probably in heat. Or about to go into heat. Or was just in heat. She may not be in standing heat, like she could have already been in standing heat where she would actually stand for him to mount her, or she might be about to go into that. But he was not letting her nurse her babies, so. Come on. I'm just replacing some of these wires with this morally high visible electric rope, which that doesn't keep him from walking through it, but it's it's just yeah. a visual warning. Hey, you probably shouldn't walk through this. But I have to say, if we put her on the outside of the fence and left him on the inside, he would go through the fence. That looks much, much better. Good job, you calves. Good job, calves, getting her empty. I knew I could count on you for that hard job. The calves got the cow empty, so we're going to open this door and let, let them out of the barn. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. All right. That wasn't what I expected. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I definitely didn't expect it, but then I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't make sense. Especially if she's in heat. Um, so it'll just be more work for us until things settle down. But at this point, I think we should always expect to be unexpected. This is not, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> this is not how he acted around her normally though. But there were no calves. There were, there were two calves, but they weren't little. But they were nursing. Beefsteak and Dandy were both here because then we sold Dandy like two days later. Oh yeah, so were he they did nursing? an impregnator. Yeah, they were old enough to be weaned, but they were still nursing. Let's go, everyone out. All right, let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, come on, step up, let's go. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, we'll have to do this again when we get back from church. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Now the goats can be free. <laughs> we're going to have to do this again? I hope it's not this crazy. I hope he gets used to it and knows that um, we're not stealing here forever. I mean, I think it'll just be a day or two of having to do this. We'll see. We'll find out soon. <laughs> it's 8.30 in the morning. We got to get out of here. I just said I'm actually proud of us. We're still gonna make it to church on time despite this hula baloo we've done this morning. <laughs> Though no one would be surprised if we were late. No one would be. <laughs> <laughs>